Okay, so I'm about to show you how to do the electric Wolverine claws. This is just a quick guide because a few of you have actually asked how to do this and I'm quite happy to share how I've done it. So you want to get yourself some cheap Wolverine claws, like so. You want to take them apart, cut them down to size, obviously Dremel them, but I haven't for this video. Um, actually stick it in the bracket because that will act as the slider, but this is what they look like once they're actually glued in place. You want to get some acrylic plastic, cut it roughly to the width of the claws so they can move up and down. And here is what it looks like with the uh, end bearing at the end. The rod used here is a T8 rod uh, with an 8mm pitch from a 3D printer. You can buy these on Amazon. This is also a another uh, coupler that I cut down to act as an end bearing because uh, I couldn't find a suitable bearing that would be uh, thin enough to fit between the claws. So I had to think on my toes on this one and it acts as a bearing perfectly well. Um, also, I covered it in some foam also to act as a dampener. Um, also, uh, this is some plastic guttering that helps keeps all the motors in place and so nothing moves. As you can see, it's just some old guttering from a house. Using some more craft foam, as you can see, we have attached it to the acrylic and obviously glued the motor so it's got something to stick to. Same with the uh, end bearing uh, and also the foam acts as a sound dampener, I guess. Also, that's the coupler that attaches the motor to the rod, which is a 3mm to 8mm coupler. Which helps move the rod. And also, here's the electronics that we used. It was from a remote control car. Uh, you take these, obviously, apart and just salvage the electronic parts inside. Then you wire them up to the motor, of course, as you can see. And then what we do here, I super glue the chipboard to the foam. Solder this all up. Obviously I haven't got the best soldering skills, but it does the job. And then what you wanna do is attach it to a power bank to test. Get the remote control ready and paired up with it. And as you can see, straight away instant claws. So this is just a quick rough guide how to do it. There's no, I wouldn't say exact measurements just because everybody's arms size are different lengths and stuff. So it's all will have to be guesswork, I guess by yourselves just to get the correct length for you. So these are the parts that I use. This is the eight mil to three millimeter coupler. These are the heat gun motors that we used. This is the acrylic sheet that needs to be cut down by a jigsaw. This is the craft foam that was used. Also the remote control that was used. And just some USB just for the power for the power bank. And like I say again, this is obviously a homemade build. Uh, so obviously there was no guide up there for myself. I had to all guesswork it. And like I say, for it to fit your wrist, your arm, for the size that you want, you would have to sort of uh, do the measurements yourself against your own arm. As I say, we're all very different body shapes and sizes. Also, the other plan is as well for the buttons will be either like micro switches or buttons placed in the fingers. So there won't be the use of the actual remote control. So it'll be once I close my fist, then the claws will retract. And then as I open them up, then the claws obviously retract back. So yes, well, I hope you enjoyed the guide and uh, hopefully this will come in use to somebody who decides to make the claws. Enjoy.